everybody! How are you? It's Rin with StitchandTravel.com. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been about a week uh, since I decided to do uh, not do the daily vlog and just do it on a weekly basis. I actually have a lot of really cool stuff to tell you. Yeah, I know, isn't it great? I have stuff I can tell you. Well, um, Scott and I went on an adventure, and it started out. August 18th, that's a Thursday, and we went to a showing of a, a film called, let's see, The National Parks of Texas. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to put the link down to the video because they've got it uh, available online, so you'll want to watch it. It's really good. But while we were watching it, it was so much fun because we went, uh, it was raining on the way there and it was crazy it was it was started at 6 30 so you know we were in traffic in dallas it was crazy and we get there we get to meet some really great people the film was so good because it it talked about the different national sites in texas that we didn't know existed we knew there was you know guadalupe mountain lbj ranch uh, you know big bend we knew about those and we also knew about the shoreline but we didn't know about the grasslands we didn't know about uh, some of the other historic sites they talked about and one of them they talked about oh my gosh it was so great uh, i'll tell you about that in a second we were able well i was able to get a couple of selfies with strangers too i got one with the whole crowd of people that was behind us it was great they were all really cool because they were like yeah we'll do this yay and they they enjoyed it, it well at least i did <laughs> then i was able to get um a selfie with the director of lbj ranch which is russ whitlock it was he was really nice he was so so nice and we also i was also able to get a really cool selfie with reagan the director of uh Wico mammal no <laughs> i'll get this right waco mammoth national monument in waco texas And also Suzanne from National Park Conservation Association and oh and a special guest the Cybertooth Kitty yeah it was pretty cool <laughs> it was a fun one and we just had a wonderful time and it, it woke up the hey you still have stuff to do there's still parks to go to not just Texas State Parks there are also national historic locations for you to go. So we decided we were going to do that. And uh, it led to a pretty interesting <laughs> adventure. It really did. Well, at this, at this program, we learned about the, the national parks. And one of them was the national monument uh, for the Waco Mammoth and that was that was kind of a shock to us because when we went to see it uh, at the museum it it was nothing I mean it was just a regular exhibit and so we decided we were going to go and see what was there and you know to see maybe it was different maybe it wasn't but we were so happy it was a, a national monument well we decided to go see it on Saturday and we left so late we left so so late it was too late and but we got there by three and but we were really surprised because it wasn't the same place we went to. So I was really glad we decided to to go.
it had it had a lot of interesting things to it. It was so fun. It was I, I enjoyed doing the the photos when we got there because Scott was being his all goofy self, which was pretty great. You know, I love his goofy self, but of course I love my goofy self just as much. But after after we did the the sign thing, which we always do, we went in and we made it just in time for a tour and. Um, one of the park employees, uh, Gina, was uh, able to give us a tour. She was wonderful. She uh, had worked for a long time and just decided she wanted to do something different. So she decided to start being a, a tour guide at the National Monument there in Waco. It was pretty cool. She was so smart. She knew a lot. And she even enabled us to uh, let me do a selfie with her. Anyway, uh, we went, we were able to get um, plenty of information. I know that I'm going to be doing a blog post about that on our website soon. There was just something about it. It just, it thrilled us so much to see that. Definitely, Definitely thrilled us. One of the things I love most about what Scott and I do is that we get to be kind of creative because we get to we get to go places that you know not everybody does not everybody wants to do but it's something he and I enjoy one of the things he and I did or have been doing is we've been trying to go to all of the counties in Texas well it dawned on us the other day that since we're going to all the counties we might as well be taking pictures of all the county courthouses in Texas well so we just started doing that and we're going to try to do a little bit more of that uh, we're trying to find all of the courthouse pictures we've taken but it's fun it's something we enjoy doing and isn't that what it's about it's what we as a couple enjoy doing and spending that time together well, we decided after we were going to do the uh, the monument, we decided we were going to go get two of the counties that we hadn't gotten. Well, after we have enjoyed the Waco Mammoth National Monument here in Waco, we're going to try to pick up two more uh, counties. We're headed on Highway 84 outside of Waco to a town called Goldweight. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And then from there, that'll get us a count of county we don't have. And then we'll go north to Breckenridge, I said, right? Yeah, Breckenridge. So, yeah. And then we'll head home. That'll give us two new counties. This gives us our fifth national park system location. And how much fun is this? We learned a lot. We had a lot of fun. It was really nice getting to know a few people. I was able to get a couple of um, selfies with strangers, three of them to be exact. Uh, was able to talk to a really nice volunteer by the name of Teresa. She had been volunteering in Montana at Ghost Towns. Very interesting lady. Well, this year she didn't do that. She decided she wanted to start staying closer to home and so she was volunteering there. So here we go. It's a nice little trip. Enjoy the ride. decided to go and capture a couple of counties as I said before well we're in one of those counties now and we're getting ready to head back up towards Brownwood but we we saw San Saba mission and we decided we're gonna at least drive down there take a look so we'll go down and over and then back up 
to Brownsville. Well, at any rate, we're going to San Saba. We've heard about, we've seen pictures of a place called San Saba Mission, but at this point, uh, we're in Goldthwaite. Yeah. yeah. They have no internet here, apparently, so we can't really look anything up. So we're gonna go down to San Saba and over, and hopefully we'll, we'll arrive home before tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, yay! I love you. Mwah.
So we got some good sleep. We just had breakfast and we are headed up Highway 183. We're going towards Rising Star, Texas. We've already gotten three new counties and it looks like we may get a few more, at least one more. So it's going to be a day. It's a pretty morning so far. Oh, it is beautiful outside. I'm interesting it is Fort Griffin and it is a Texas historic yeah we are historical society uh, location it is what Fort M Griffin used to look like Fort Griffin. Griffin what did I call it Griffin. oh <laughs> Fort Griffin and we are going through and just enjoying the whole thing in a golf cart. In a golf cart. It was so nice of them. Okay, hang on now. Oh my God, look at them. They're long horns and they're right next to us. Holy crap. Drive forward. Look at them, look at them. Oh, they're huge. They're right here on this side. They're huge, look at them. Oh, and he's scratching. Look at that one. He's scratching his horn on the tree. Can you get him? Yeah. Wow. What he's doing. Holy crap. Well, as you can see, it was a very long trip. And unfortunately, the county that we really wanted to go after... If you'll shine the light on that deer. That would be Stevens County? Yeah, Stevens. The yeah. one county we really wanted is still white. Yeah, because we forgot to go through Breckenridge. <laughs> so, um, we had a great adventure, but we didn't get that county. <laughs> so maybe next time. You all have a nice night, have a nice day, have a nice life. Just get out, live life. And I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> it was a long trip. <laughs> How do you tell him? Get outside and live life out outside your box. See, he's yeah. not tired. He was driving. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.